My name is Charlotte Scholl, um, I'm a Pollution Prevention and Control Officer and I work for the Environment Agency. Well I suppose you could say I'm a policeman for the environment really. Um, I look after the chemical industry, uh, that's my area of specialism, and um, I make sure that they comply with environmental law. Generally, try to minimise the impact the industry has on the environment. I was a fairly good all-rounder at school. Um, I found science subjects more interesting and uh, so after doing my O-levels I went on to do A-levels in Maths, Physics and Chemistry. Um, I wasn't really sure about what it was I actually wanted to do with that. Seeing as my father had also um, worked in engineering, although he was, he was in the aeronautical industry, um, he'd said to me, what, what about engineering? And so I decided to uh, give it a go. So I applied for courses in chemical engineering and uh, I went to Bradford University. My parents certainly never pressurised me and I think if anything uh, they were a bit the, the other way that they felt that really uh, the thing to do was to you know get a job and, and earn some money and it was me saying well actually I'd quite like to try university. Neither of my parents had been to university so I suppose for them it wasn't the sort of the natural, natural path. There was one particular lecturer, Professor Geldart, and um, he, was, he was a great inspiration to me because I'd struggled with my, my A-levels. Um, the first time I did my A-levels twice because the first time I did them I had a really bad attack of exam nerves and crashed out quite badly. And obviously at, at university, coming into university, I was quite nervous that you know, the, I was going to have the same problem again. And um, he was a really big help to me in that respect. And, you know, saying to me, well, you know, you know that you can do it and I've seen that you can do it and I think you'll be a good, you know, you can be a good engineer. I mean, I graduated in 1993. Then there was certainly some prejudice against female engineers. Um, I, it taught me not to be too sensitive. But that's helped me in my later career in what I do now, that it helps me to get my point across because... Um, I'm not afraid to um, be criticised or to stand up for my position. I was made redundant in 2001. Um, unfortunately, the site that I was working at closed. Um, unfortunately, at that time, I was expecting my first child, and uh, obviously the opportunities for employment are somewhat limited when you're, when you're pregnant. Um, the Environment Agency interested me because they were a very good employer in terms of you know, their family friendly policies and I just felt that it was, um, it was an exciting opportunity and you know, the right time in my life so mm -hmm. I decided I was going to go and be an inspector. I like sport, um, I like horse riding and racket sports, I run. I enjoy doing things with my children. We try to get them, you know, to enjoy walking, taking them on little walks and teaching them about you know, wildlife and birds and trees and things. I see myself trying to influence the agency, the environment agency internally um, in how they deal with industry and trying to influence industry in how they deal with the environment. So, in a in a more influencing role, I feel that that's really where my strengths are and that's what I'd like to do. And I think that that would, you know, by doing that I can bring some real value to society.